Um, yeah, I think our running game has been very good these last three weeks. You know, our first two games, you know, wasn't effective. That was a big point of emphasis going into, you know, our those three games. As far as this team goes, where have you seen the biggest area of growth? Is it that running game, and, and what has really allowed you guys to grow as you have throughout the season? Oh, I, I think it has been the running game. You know, our offensive line, you know, again, those first two games really uh, gave us a wake-up call, and, you know, that t they took it personal, you know, seeing that we, if we can run the ball, a lot of things will open up for us. What is the focus of practice this week as you get ready for what is a big game on Friday night against Snyder? Uh, we have to practice hard. You know, if we don't have a good three weeks of practice, you know, we know they're over there practicing hard. So if we don't have a, a good three practices, you know, we won't be prepared. What are your biggest concerns going up against that Snyder defense specifically? Uh, they move fast. You know, if you throw a bubble, you know, they're going to be there, you know, there. So we got to execute and do things the right way. When it comes to winning an SAC championship, I know that's one of the ultimate goals for this uh, Wayne program. So knowing that you have to go through Snyder to make that happen, how big of a game is this for you guys? Um, we know it's a big game, but at the same time, you know, we know this is week six. You know, we still have a lot of football to play. So we're going to use this as a measuring stick to see how well we stack up with those guys. Snyder's coming off, you know, a 21-point win against Homestead. Um, obviously, they're playing good football. They're undefeated. You guys are going to be the underdogs in many people's eyes. So mm -hmm. how much do you kind of relish that role of, of being able to you know, maybe upset their season. Oh, yeah. From Saturday, you know, we've coaches talked to us about being the underdog, and we've, you know, we've taken that role, and we've, we've used it as motivation this week. You know, being an underdog, that's the pressure's on them. Uh, final question, what do you think is going to be the biggest key on Friday night when you're playing under the lights against the Panthers? Execute. You know, we have to do things the right way. You know, the first time, it can't, it can't take us a whole quarter to get going. we got to be, from the jump, we got to be ready to go. Uh, practicing well all week in practice, being focused, and just playing as a family. When you take a look at this Wayne team, where have you improved the most since since week one of the season? Offensive line. Our offensive line has been working their butts off for the last three weeks, making sure that they do what they're supposed to do so we get in the end zone. What is the focus? What are some of the big points that are going to be stressed in practice this week to get ready for a big game against uh, Snyder? Uh, be disciplined and coachable. Do everything that the coaches ask us to do because we know Snyder is a well-disciplined team. When you take a look at Snyder, what are your biggest concerns as you go against them, specifically your offense against their defense? Uh, we got we to gotta execute. We got to execute. If not, then we're just not going to put no points on the board. When you take a look at them, your defense against their offense, they've been able to run the football with Crips and Covington and using their big offensive line. What can you guys do to limit what they can do offensively? Uh, we, biggest thing we got to do this week is stop the run. I think if we stop the run, we win. Our coach has been telling us that all week. If we stop the run, we win. When you take a look at uh, Snyder's rankings, you know, they, they moved up to number two in 6A this week. They're undefeated. They're atop the SAC standing. So how big of a game is this for you guys to make a statement and let people know, hey, man, Wayne football, Wayne football's on the rise? Oh, this is a big, big statement game for us. If we beat them, then we're we probably going to be in the votes for the 4A. And the good thing about it is we don't have to play them in the playoffs. So if we beat them, we're probably going to make a long run in 4A playoffs too. How big of a how big of a feather in your cap would a win against the Snyder Panthers program be? Oh, this would be big. This would be very big for us, not only the school but the whole Wayne community. Is this a game because Snyder's really not that far from here, and you know those guys? Is this a game that you kind of circle on the calendar every year? And if so, what what are you most looking forward to about Friday? Oh yeah, this this is a big game for us. We we've been looking forward to this for a long time, and this week this is like the game that we. We like most prepared for it. Like we've been waiting for this game. This is like a big challenge for us. Uh, final question: um, What what is really uh, what's this team atmosphere like heading into this game? You guys have to be thinking uh, really positively after the way you played the last three weeks. Oh yeah, we we real hype about this game. We we real focused too. We just not focus all into the hype. We really we really ready to perform on Friday night. I uh, started focusing more on the details. Spent a lot of team a lot of time on special teams. Um, and really spend a lot of time on up front, offensive and defensive line. And uh, football is all about tackling and blocking. Spend a lot more time, lot, just like right now, spend a lot more time blocking and tackling. What are the focal points and what are some of the things that you're really stressing in practice leading up to this game? Uh, we got to play a full four quarters. Um, we got to stick together. Uh, we got to love each other through the whole game. And when adversity comes, we got to fight our way through it. We gotta, just got to keep fighting. When you take a look at this team, where do you think you have some matchup advantages that you can take advantage of on Friday night? Uh, Snyder's a great team. They are. Uh, they're great tradition, great program, get great community out there. What we got to do is um, utilize our speed. I think we got a lot of speed on the perimeter um, that we might be able to take advantage of, and we got to be able to maintain the, the line of scrimmage. 
What are your biggest concerns when you play a team like Snyder? What are your What are your biggest concerns for this Friday's game? Uh, our, our concerns are with ourselves, that our kids will give a full effort four quarters. Um, Snyder, like I said, is a great team. Uh, they got a great offensive line. They got a couple great running backs, um, and they fly to the ball, and it's been that way for a long time. Um, so what we got to do is just do what we do best, execute. What is it like and, and what is the anticipation like for this team to be playing in a game that, that kind of has a spotlight on it and that people are really looking forward to seeing, you know, two two teams that have a lot of potential and a lot of firepower clash on a Friday night? Well, for us, it's, it's big, and I think for them it's big also. But um, it's two great programs, a um, lot of athletes. going to be a lot of athletes on the field, a lot of big guys on the field. It's going to be a lot of hitting. It's going to be a lot of, uh, lot of fun. Uh, final question, any extra juice being a Snyder guy? Uh, to go up against uh, your alma mater, knowing uh, you know they're a pretty good football team, a win would mean a lot for this Wayne football program. Oh, always. Um, uh, anytime you go up against the black and gold, it's a big game. Uh, I graduated from Snyder in 1993. I uh, played for Russ Isaac, so I you know I know the tradition, I know the program.